Hello. Hello, everyone. And um, that really cringe hair flick was because of one reason and one reason only. You may notice we have matching hair right now and we've got some rollers in the background behind us. And that is because Mama Grimes is finally sharing with us her hair roller secrets. secrets. Yeah? yeah? Is that what we're going to call this? The fact that I've only been doing it for about a month or so is another matter. Fake it till you make it. Absolutely. So, Mum showed you guys how she does her rollers mm -hmm. with my head basically we yep. used my head as the dolly but we also answered some q a questions whilst we were doing this but before we show you guys how this was achieved we yep. should probably talk about what you used to achieve it as you can see it's rather old it's rather broken a bit like you really but like I was going to say that that was Joking. my line. And this, this is the Babyliss Pro Stylist Tools. And this is the big pack. The big pack. And I would say get the big pack. Don't get a small pack. I've got a small pack. Doesn't heat up the rollers. The rollers need to be left over. I literally had them on for three hours. I'm not joking. I don't need home to heat up. Literally, you can't. If you touch them and it burns, good. That's the heat they need to be. So, so yes, these are the babies. So I will link them down below because hopefully I can still find them. I'm yeah. sure I will. Yeah, no, they are. They're still for sale. And yeah. Oh, oh, they they've got different sizes. So you've got oh. the big red ones. Yep. Which is like that. For the for the longer hair. We've got the middle blue ones. Yes. We've got the white smaller one yeah. and then we've got the tiny yellow ones and mum is missing one of them yep don't but quite know how obviously because we've got longer hair we tend to just stick with the red with and the and the blue yep stick with yep. those main ones very important you've got two options here one or double always put it on double and always close the lid and because close that the keeps lid. the heat in let's now have a look at how mama grimes beautifully transformed my lot so, the first thing I'm going to do, because I'm a, such a professional hairdresser, of course, is separate the the hair. Ow! So, oh, yeah, I know. I mean, oh, she's got extensions, as you all know, so there's going to be lots of screaming and hitting, I expect. I hope there's no hitting. But, well, yeah, you're probably hitting me rather than the other way around. Well, hopefully. I was just thinking, I think the last time you actually curled my hair was when I competed in Miss Teen Great oh, Britain. Oh, I remember. That when I was we like were in 30. the toilet. Yeah. We were literally doing the curls in the toilet. Not like in the toilet, like in the actual toilet like bowl. Like we were sat yeah. in the toilet because there wasn't much space and we wanted our own space and we wanted to be able to do my hair. And I'm pretty sure you used rollers exactly like these. Yeah, I think I did. Oh yeah, let's talk about the and, rollers. Oh my gosh, I will put my picture of me and that hair on the screen right now mm -hmm. because I literally had like full on like ringlet dreadlocks with like a poofy fringe. Oh my gosh, it was so bad, but it was so good and it's so so funny. I remember Anya was there as well. And Anya is not a pageant girl. No, and she's not. Um, someone thought that she left a pageant t shirt that they wore for a dance. As in, she, they behind. thought that she was competing and that she, she was forgotten her t shirt. And they said to her, Oh, here's your t shirt. Well, you should have seen Anya's face. She said, I'd rather eat my own ass. Uh, mm than do a pageant. Yeah, so you can see we're very different mm. as sisters. Let me show you what I've done badly, but you know, I'm not a professional. So I've just got rid of that top layer of her head and I'm gonna do a Top layer of my head? <laughs> well, hair I hope not. And now I'm gonna do exactly the same thing with the second uh, so layer. So But before I do section, that's the word. So we did ask some questions to answer whilst Mum is doing my hair. Ooh, ow, you're quite painful. Ooh, ah. Uh, no, it's ooh, ah, uh, Malia, yeah. singing ooh, ah, uh, Malia. I'm not going to Malia. Oh, by the way, can I just add, I have never, ever, since that um, famous time, done Misha's hair. Neither have I done anyone's hair apart from my own, so this really is an experiment. Oh, she hasn't done my hair since I was 13, yeah. yeah exactly. I'm now nearly 19, so it's yeah. been a while. And, I, and I've only done this way of styling probably three times in my entire life, so... Yeah, but everyone from the how nice it looks. Ex learn from the experts, no. Yeah, but I think the problem is that that kind of styling suits me because I'm a mature lady. Oh, what, the curls? Yeah. Am I going to look like an old woman? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Joking. You don't look an old woman. No. Age is just a number. And by the way, Misha keeps on saying I'm 55. I'm not. I'm 56. Sorry. Do you remember celebrating my birthday? You look about 12, so yeah, don't worry. Yeah, of course. So, first question. This one made me laugh so very much and I knew you were going to appreciate it. So I just have to ask oh, her. I, d I don't know the questions, by oh, the yeah, way. I just kept them top secret. If Mama Grimes could describe the perfect boyfriend for you, what would oh, you say? Yeah. I thought this was brilliant. 
Oh, I love that question. If you guys don't know, I did apply to be on first dates and I got through. I didn't end up doing it. I will do it at some point. So me and mum have heavily discussed in the this, past we have. what I'd go for. So. In the past, we discuss this on a daily basis. So but, come on then. Know. Okay, so let me just finish this because uh, this is not going to stay. Um, okay, what would I want for Misha? Um, a male version of me. I love uh, you, but I wouldn't. You wouldn't be my boyfriend okay. choice. No okay. offense. So, uh, someone who's older. So yeah. I would say someone who is. So let me just show. So now we've separated. We've got two separate. Uh, I look like a unicorn. Areas. And now we're gonna play with this. What's this called? On a horse? Hey, hen. Main. Main. Oh, and, oh um, I know this is gonna be a nightmare because Misha's got so much hair and we've got limited rollers. So you know we're just gonna have to rock with it. But before I answer the question, what we're gonna now do is separate for each. Well, I'm gonna do it one by one, but separate each bit of hair section. Section and uh, get that ready but most importantly have you sprayed the protector Misha? No I said I let you do it on the bottom. Okay so we've got we a GHG using, protector. Yeah this is not a paid advertising or anything like that this is what we genuinely love using. That sounded like a paid advertising. Well it isn't. This smells, this, muff, oh. this stuff smells so good. They did send it to me but I love it so okay. I'm not complaining. So the trick of um the curls falling in the right direction is that each row goes in the opposite direction. So let me just check. It sounds like she knows my... what she's doing. Yeah. Just okay. to say, Mum is also following a YouTube tutorial whilst doing this. So you're watching a YouTube tutorial of a YouTube well, tutorial. Yeah, I know, but they're not as good as me, of course. They, they're professional hairdressers. <laughs> anyway, going back to the question. No, not going back to the question. So if Misha was on a night out, what I would do now is I would actually spray the root and probably all of the hair with some hairspray. But I'm not going to do this. Misha's obviously not going on a we're night not going out. out. It's Sunday. Yeah. What we're now going to do is we're going to curly the hair going this way. So um, let me just quickly. I'm going to start because the, her hair is the thickest at the bottom. So I'm going to start with the largest roller so I'm gonna grab her hair just to show so because it's so long oh my gosh I haven't brought the glove the curl curler is literally absolutely boiling so we're going in a, a bit of a strange way and picking up the strays while <laughs> doing that. Mo likes to pick up the strays. <laughs> these rollers come with these little clips but I find that they just don't hold the hair enough can you see it's just about to fall out so these honestly girls these are just little bobby pins i think that's what they're called aren't they yeah 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 you get well, they're those. a bit different to a bobby pin they're more of like a slide like yeah. they haven't got like crumpy bits okay it's like Could a straight line so what i do is i go at the back i don't know if you can see that oh 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 and this is where she scrapes they haven't got you know when a bobby pin doesn't have the plastic bits on the end so the metal scrapes through your scalp so now ones. i'm going to repeat exactly the same thing spraying the protector and then going in the same direction as mentioned before so going back to misha's um uh imaginary um perfect lover oh, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, getting a bit runchy. Runchy, no, not runchy. I, I'm sorry i'm gonna have to go and get some gloves because these are literally burning my hands are they actually yep well, finally, <laughs> you look like a creepy person. Thriller! <laughs> well, finally, have a lot in common. We'll finally get to the question. Yeah, but Misha, don't throw your head around because this not, roller is that. going to fall out. Okay. Anyway, so, um, now where were we? Yes, so he's said old, older. Older, so he's probably going to be about 22 to 25, I would say. Misha's I'm very 19. Mature, and she needs a strong guy, someone that can control her to some degree. <laughs> Otherwise, she's just going to... Doesn't sound like something you'd normally no. say about a boyfriend for your daughter. They need to be able to control her. <laughs> well, absolutely. Uh, she needs a strong man. They need to be really, really <laughs> intelligent. Uh, Misha's dad is extremely... They're probably thinking Misha's dumb as anything. Why does she need an intelligent no. guy? Misha... I promise I'm not stupid. Misha is not dumb. She is extremely bright. She needs someone like her dad. Maybe not look-wise, mm -hmm. but, you know, he has produced these little... They need to be someone that if Misha's got a question, he'll know the answer. I if do he doesn't, agree. he'll use Google. Um, and pretend apart. he knew. And pretend he knew. Surveying so bit. They need to be taller than Misha because, again, her dad is tall. And also, I wear really high heels. Yeah, exactly. So, like, they need to be a lot taller so, than me. Unless you five foot nine don't apply. Five foot nine? Okay, five foot nine is probably not enough. No, I'm a six foot. Oh, yeah, what are you in high heels? I'm like blooming six foot in heels. Oh, okay. 
Okay, so she For needs... her six inch heels, and I'm five foot, five and a half, I'm nearly like six foot in heels. Yeah, so, so yeah. okay, six, six one, you can apply. Yeah. Okay, yes. If you haven't got blonde hair and blue eyes, don't apply. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> um, all the boys. Oh, very tall, dark, and handsome. No, well. no, absolutely. So on the other scale, um, she does like them dark and handsome and a little bit hairy, but not too hairy. Otherwise, we'll have to do the waxing routine on them. A little uh, bit hairy. So like, I want to date a gorilla. <laughs> I don't, well, no I gorillas that. apply, please. <laughs> yeah, so really, um, Misha's not fussy. Anyone will do. Um, she wants someone who will treat her like a princess. I don't want anyone. No, no she doesn't. No, I'm joking. No, she really wants someone who come, goes into a room and the room lights up. Someone who's confident. Someone that will this command the room like This generally sounds she. like a dating advert. Yeah. Like, Someone, so bad. someone that will command the room like Misha does because as oh, you thanks. know, um, you know, she is a little ray of sunshine. So um, but I mean really what I've done is described a, a perfect husband. In the meantime, anyone will do, just get her off my hands, no, they please. Won't. No, they won't. You've forgotten one major, major thing. Uh, so, what, what major what thing have you forgotten? Oh, okay, hold on, because I'm concentrating. This is this is quite a challenging act because this hair is not going as well as I would have liked. It to. What have I forgotten? So, um, what's one thing that you notice with someone with their personality within about five seconds of spending time with them? If there was one thing that Misha must have, it would be their sense of humour. It's got to be someone that will make Misha and me cross their legs permanently. As in, because we're going to pee ourselves because from laughter. Because we're going to pee ourselves from laughter. So, um, Misha has an ideal man. Um, However, um, they don't exist. They don't exist. No, she loves the sense of humour of um, James, James Corbyn. Corbyn. Yeah. Corden. Corden. No, Corbyn. Mm. Corbyn is a blooming oh, politician. A politician isn't I it? definitely don't want that. Okay, so now I'm in a second row. Okay, so all the curls have gone this way. So now I'm going to work the opposite way. Remember, girls, the opposite way. Opposite to try. Yeah, absolutely. So my husband, honestly, he he just cracks up up cracks us up every day. Most we, of the time we're laughing at him rather yeah, than with him. Well, yeah. But, you know, we kind of insult each other, but it's really, really funny. So sometimes people do misunderstand us yeah. when we're horrible to each other, when we're actually showing our love that way. Because In videos, you, people will be like, oh, yeah. you're being really rude to each other. I'm like, no, yeah. that's no, just how we show we care. Just, we're weird. <laughs> because we're comfortable with each other. We know that we can pull each other's socks, is it? What's the word? Um, pull each other's... I don't know. Don't forget to spray the protector. What is a thing you argue about most and how do you usually make up after? I'll let you answer. <sighs> I don't know because I don't think me and mum actually have something that we like argue over. I think because we spend so much time together. I, I, I'm worried she's like pulling faces behind me because I can't I'm see not. her. Because I think we spend so much time together, we more like bicker. Yeah. Because it's no surprise when you spend that much time with someone that you get on each other's boobs. Boots or boobs? Boobs. I would say T-I-T-S, but I don't know if I want to say that right. word. She hasn't got any. I so haven't got any, but if I had perfect. some, if I had some, you would get on my boobies. Mm -hmm. Um. But no, I don't. I don't really know. Um, to be fair, if we do have a fight, like we scream and shout, then we literally make up within about three point zero seconds because mm. neither of us can hold a grudge. So it's fine because even if we're in an argument, it's not as if I'm like, when are we ever going to make up? I'm like, we'll be fine in like two seconds. But, Chill. Yeah, but you know, it, the the key ingredients why our relationship works is because that was another question. We, oh, okay then, because we're so alike. So it's not actually very often that we disagree on many things. We've got the same view on life. People, we like the yeah, same we people. Yeah, we do. We dislike the same people. I've got not the many. same morals as my parents, Absolutely. obviously. So I think and that's when you more disagree with someone. Like yeah. you can. Oh, oh the alarm. But no, I feel like you can have a friendship with someone, you can be in a relationship with someone that has different interests and stuff like that. Yeah. But if you don't have the same morals, then you just can't because you believe in different things. And it's such, I feel yeah. like your morals are such important things that it's not like you could um, meet halfway with someone. Absolutely. So we vote for the same political party. We've got the same religious beliefs. We're both natural blondes. <laughs> um, we both look really good with that makeup. No. 
moment. <laughs> we both love pageants. We both like the same TV We're programs. both extra. We're both extra. But then I do think, like, if one of us was less, less extra, I, I would say you're the more extra one. No, I'm not. You are. You are, trust. If we asked Anya, she'd agree with me. Oh. Um, that's not a bad thing. But I feel like even I can be friends with someone that's not as extra no. because like, I bring out their extraness. What do you think we argue anything in particular, though? Like, do you think we have we fight over anything in particular? Um, no, honestly, there isn't a specific. Like, I can't thing. think of anything that we yeah. actually I do. Think, I think the only time that we disagree is when it comes to my eyeshadow, mm -hmm. and I think it's blended. <laughs> and she says no, it isn't, ma'am. So sometimes Misha can be a little bit insensitive to uh, my ability to to. I'm a harsh. <laughs> P-I-T-C-H No, she's not. I used to be really sensitive, but just, just with my age, I've she, just got so she, unsensitive. She, she cries when she sees the Andrex puppy That's ads. different though, I cry at sad things, but I don't cry at, like, life as much. Yeah, she doesn't sleep on that, worrying about it. Yeah, but yeah. I'm like a harsh cookie. Exterior. Like, you can't break me, trust. You can, trust me. No, you can't. What's one makeup product you couldn't live without? Oh. Now, my, I can just mention that straight away. Your bee poop. And that's my bee poop that I mentioned. If you had to have one in... product, would that actually be your product? Yeah, absolutely. The bee poop <laughs> is this amazing product that goes under the eyes and basically freezes your wrinkles. And also it makes the under eye much whiter than what it is. And uh, even with that makeup, it's amazing. Sorry, no pain, no gain. Misha, what um, is yours? I'll twist around now so that you can do that one. Um, so apologies that you can hear me but not see me. So Hallelujah. my product yeah. is kind of a cheat, but the one thing that I would have in regards to like makeupiness is eyelash extensions. Oh gosh. I would just have yeah. eyelash extensions and not wear any makeup and be happy. Actually. Do you change? Do you copy me? If if I couldn't wear falsies, then I would do the same as me, Shara, actually thinking. Well about yeah, because you really have one makeup product, ma'am. Oh. So I think eyelash yeah. extensions because yeah. I can wear no uh, I can wear no makeup and I I don't care because eyelash extensions really brighten your eyes and they really open them up. So yeah, that would be my choice, mm. which I don't know if it's cheating because it's not actually a makeup product. Oh, but also lip balm because I have the most dry, chapped lips on the planet. So I need me aloe vera lip balm 24 seven and I've lost my one currently and I'm having to use coconut oil and it just doesn't work the same. Because I've got single um, bond extensions, yes. when mum puts the clips through, she ah, like fully nips it. them. That's okay. why it hurts so much. So we've got two rows done now. Ta-da. And now we're gonna go for the most important part, which is the top. Me so, show next what's question. your favorite piece of all your wardrobe? I genuinely don't know what I'm gonna pick. Very seasonal, aren't we? Yeah, we like love something and then like don't wear it what? for okay. a year and then wear okay. it again. Let's think about what do we wear most apart from onesies. <laughs> Nada. <laughs> I'm kind of getting a bit. She fat. looks so much prettier that way, doesn't she? <laughs> oh, wait, this is really itchy. <laughs> so what should we do? A summer favorite and then a winter favorite. Yep. I don't know, cause like I'm not someone like Lydia Elise Millen is the sort of fashion person that she gets something, she loves it, and she wears it every day for a month, and then she I never like wears that. it again. It's a bit like food. You are like that, but I'm not like that. Mm -hmm. I will wear like one thing at a time, like one thing, and then not wear it for a month, and then wear it again, or like not wear it for a couple of weeks. Like I will make sure I don't go off my clothes because I don't wear them that often. That's why she doesn't have boyfriends, because she doesn't want to go off them. <laughs> <laughs> but she doesn't have a different one every day. I'll no, I this. definitely don't have a new one each month. <laughs> um, so I don't know. What would yours be? Hold on, I'm concentrating here, so now I've got to go that way. Okay, just wanted to get my direction. So we're now going on the opposite direction. So we were curling it that way. So now we're going to go that way. <laughs> okay, what would we have? So in winter... Um, it's not something that I wear a lot because I simply don't have the, the occasion, but it's got to be my grey uh, Stephen... Uh, Stuart Wiseman. Stuart Wiseman's boots, by far. I've had it for probably about four years now. I bought them when they were... I think you had them yeah. for longer than that, Mum. That's my favourite winter outfit. Outfit? Uh, what, did you outfit. just go out in a pair of knee-high boots? <laughs> yeah! Um, I feel like I would go knee-highs because um, it's just like a staple. But then I also feel like I would go for like a faux fur coat because I don't like to be cold in the winter. Mm. <laughs> but I don't know which item in particular. 
I have too many clothes. Mm, yeah. And I know that, I know I have too much clothes, but I have been collecting clothes for like how many years, Mum? Since I still have clothes from when I was 12. Yes, she does, but equally, we've got a basement full of boxes. That of need clothes. To go to the, they need to go to the charity shops. Or so. to the car boot sale. Yeah, we yeah. need to do a car boot sale. And With summer, it. what's your favourite summer? Um, I'd say maybe like a denim pair of shorts. Is it? I don't know. It's not, maybe like an actual mm. like pretty summer dress. Okay, so my <gasps> I know. Oh what my item. god, she's just I found a bench. No, I know Fantastic. what item. Do you know what item I'm gonna say is my favourite summer item? Uh, give us some clues. A dress. Uh, a pretty girly dress. You've got so many for Christ's sake. That we wore a lot in America and we will wear for all of eternity. Oh gosh, yes, a little green. Uh, I wear it and she wears it. Misha. Block the picture now. I will. Yeah. That is my ultimate summer, summer item. Uh, yeah, absolutely is. Now, my one is very similar, but it has got two bits to it. So, my one is the one that we got in the Birmingham Fashion Show. The, um, the your, it's in fact your dress, and it's the blue and very colourful. Um, oh, they're, they're swing dresses, and they're from Dancing Leopard. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Mum yeah. wears them with, to death. Yeah, and then with They're the, still available, by the way. I'll link them down below. And also, I wear it always with a, a blue kimono, which kimono. is also from Dancing Leopard, yeah, which I then used as a, um, as, what's it called? A sarong yeah. sort of style cape thing for my swimwear at Galaxy. So someone said, what's the biggest change from the old Misha and Mummy Grimes to now? Old Misha? As in like what I used to be like, like what have I changed? Obviously you've seen me grow up, so. She's always been a diva. Um, she, I think the biggest change is that she cared too much. I agree, I was going to say that. Things used to really upset her. I remember her very first boyfriend invited her to a Halloween party and then blew her <laughs> this out. This is when I was in like year five? Yeah, blew her out a night before. I've never seen the girl cry so much in my life. When my um, year six boyfriend broke up with me, I used to put on Taylor Swift teardrops in my guitar and sing <laughs> along with it. Yeah, I was that kid. And if you're watching it, Teardrops on my guitar, the only one that keeps me wishing on that wishing star. She's a song in. I really can't sing. You can't. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> I, unfortunately, I think she's almost gone too far. <laughs> I, I really genuinely do. I so do I, kind I, of agree. Yeah, I think she overprotects herself I do. and she puts up barriers and really um, just does not allow people in too quickly because she's so scared of getting Like, getting I'm very hurt. honest and I'm very truthful, yeah. but yeah. then I won't actually, like, let myself, like, connect to a person, be it, like, a friendship or anything, like, that quickly. Like, I'll, I'll tell anyone what they want to hear. Like, I'll be honest and talk about my life, but I won't necessarily emotionally connect with them. That sounds really weird, but or you know at what least, I mean. Or at least pretend to herself that she hasn't uh, connected with them. <laughs> um, you-wise, well... I'm gonna first of all do something which probably isn't that, like, I, I'm just gonna talk. Um, so, aesthetically, Mother has changed a lot over the years, and I don't mean that as a positive or a negative, mm -hmm. but I do because her change in her way that she dresses, the way that she does her hair, the way that she does her makeup, the way that she takes care of herself mm -hmm. makes her so much more confident. Yeah. So, absolutely. she used to be like, it was just about me and Anya, whereas now she's muscling it in on it. And we want her to because she's a sexy woman and Aww, she needs to. Thank you. Um, then on more of a like emotional level, hmm, I don't really know. Uh, Misha um, has been through some tough times, as, as you know. So um, as a mother, um, obviously I was there supporting her, being strong and pretending that everything will be okay is not easy. <laughs> is so, that a skill you've mastered? Yeah, so she may not see the tears behind the, the, the scenes, but um, yeah. So I think I've changed, that I've become harder on her. Yeah, I do agree, actually. Um, because I think the worst possible thing is if someone is upset and you say, yeah, 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 you, are you okay? Are you, are you okay? It makes it worse. But if you actually look at the positive side and you say, look, that's today, but tomorrow is another day, 
there, there, there is always ways to improve, there is always more that you can do to make your life better, to, to, to change it. There are some things that we just have no control over, but I've always said to Michelle, look, compare yourself with someone else that is worse. There's always someone else that's worse off than you. So I've become quite a bit like my husband. Um, oh, he's so hard, honestly, but it makes you stronger because I don't, don't whinge and I just get on with it and I hope that it's had the same effect <laughs> on you, which it has. She only has an occasional bad day and you wouldn't have known that today in the morning was one of those days. So, good I feel like on I, you, I needed to hear that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So good on you, Misha. Ow, ow. Are you now taking the, the pain out on yes. me? <laughs> is, that, is that the point? Um, bit of an emotional one there. Sorry. Moving onwards. No, that's allowed. Um, do you find that because you both do pageants, you can get competitive against each other? Now, oh. just to put out, we don't compete against each other. I don't think that person thought this, but just in case no. any of you, we don't compete against each other in pageants. But genuinely, I don't think I'm that competitive. What do you, do you think I'm competitive? Um... Because I think in pageants I've wanted to win because I felt like it was my time to win. Yeah. Not because I wanted to win for the sake of winning, so I could say I beat everyone. I wanted to win for my own sake, not yeah. for like yeah. I won. Yeah. She competes with herself and no yeah. one else. I really do genuinely believe that. But I can honestly tell you that if we were, I mean, you're more competitive than I am. I'm probably more in life. I'd say. But I'm done. Well, well, you're not done because you've got a few strays. So. Um, well, what do you want to do in my strays? Yeah, um, I'll sort them out. But actually, it's really, really funny because when Misha and I competed in the same pageant for the very, very first time, we were promoting various causes, good causes, charities, and we were offered an interview with Daily Mail. Oh, we took sure. it. We took it because we wanted to talk about the different charities that we were working with. And guess what they did? I knew I was paranoid that I needed to. We were the so article. paranoid. We were so paranoid because we know how press. Um, um, what's the word? Uh, twists everything. Hence why so, I don't really want to ever go on reality TV absolutely. because everything just comes across Gets dreadfully. Twisted. So what we did is we made sure that we approved the actual article, everything seemed hunky-dory, and then the headline came out. So Mother the... and daughter competing against each other on the same no, day. No, it was crowned on the same S night. Crowned on... Mother and daughter crowned Cra on the same night. Can you imagine the abuse that we got? What a bad mother I was Because they never approved the headline with us, yeah. even though the headline was completely untrue and we never competed against each other. We supported each other. Exactly. Anyway, she's done now. Okay, it looks a bit of a mess, but you know. This is uh, Kasha Grimes Hairdressing Services. So we're not, how long do we wait for it? We're gonna go right. eat. Okay, but... so the longer you leave it, the better. Just to say, we'll This feels really through. creepy. <laughs> The longer you can leave it, the better. Uh, however long she can with, withstand the, the pain. But we're probably going to leave it for about half an hour if that. She's not going anywhere. It doesn't matter if it falls out. But now what we would do, hairspray. Now, I've got to say that the rollers do not hold the curl anywhere near as If you pin curl, it lasts a lot longer. longer. So I feel like um, you do this hair when you've got like yeah. a smaller segment when you need to look good. Yeah, so I typically do this hair when I do uh, vlogs with Misha. Half an hour's passed. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is now remove the all the pins all the and Misha's pin. going to cry in pain. Yeah. Oh! There you go. First one attacked her because she was horrible to my grinds. And we're going to pop it back in the container. We are. We are good girls. So, do you have plans to leave home? And if so, how will you two cope without each other? <laughs> it's just not happening. I literally, I think my response was, we won't cope. <laughs> <laughs> I literally replied back. I could not reply to that. So, um, obviously, at some point, I will move out. Obviously, I'm only 19. I think when I was, like, set, like, when I was, like, 14, I used to think that, like, you should move out when you're, like, 19, no, no, 18. Hold on, hold on. When she was about four, she thought that you married your dad. You that was the best That's a whole other story. <laughs> Um, I thought just, you'd stay at home. I just thought, ooh. <laughs> I just thought that, like, you moved out when you were 18, and, like, if you didn't move out when you were 18, you, like, didn't have your life together. But now being of that age, I realise that it is 
A, impossible to get a property this day and age because mm -hmm. no one can afford to buy. No one can be a first time owner this, these days because it's just dreadful. And two, I'm 19, still live at home and it doesn't mean I'm failing at life. So originally I was like, oh mum, I want to move out when I'm 21. But every single time we discuss it, I get older and older when I'm moving out. Um, and I, so yeah. If I can interject, Misha was talking about going to uni this time last year. Um, none of us, neither of us really talked about uh, what it would be like without each other. We just didn't want to discuss we it. We just didn't want to discuss it. But in the back of my mind, I was obviously preparing myself for it. <laughs> mentally. And mentally. And we had this really, really good plan. So, oh my gosh, I know what you're going to say. <laughs> so as a family, whenever possible, we try to eat dinner together, which is becoming less and less nowadays because we all live together but separate lives, uh, all driven by our business uh, demands. So we said, okay, so what we're going to do is FaceTime each other every time we eat dinner. I'm gonna, Misha's gonna sit down at her uni table and we're gonna sit down in our dining room and we're gonna do what we always do, which is catch up on what happened during the day. <laughs> but more importantly... As Thank we, goodness for FaceTime. Yeah, but more importantly, as we all know, absence makes the heart go fonder. So me and Misha... What is absence makes the heart go fonder? Go fonder, go fonder. Um, so um, I think what we will probably do is appreciate each other more when we do don't agree. see each other as much. Not that we don't appreciate each other, because of course we do, but... but no, I do agree, because like me and Chloe, we're best friends and we live in different countries, but it actually works. We're both very busy people, so we don't necessarily need to spend every waking moment with each other, but me and Mum aren't like that. We do need to spend every waking moment with each other. No, we don't. We, we choose to, though. Okay, so my husband went away for the weekend and I said to Misha, come and sleep in my bed. She said, no, mum. No, you didn't. <laughs> don't pretend. I don't like mum's I've bedroom. Asked her. No, exactly. I don't, I used, whenever mum used to go away, anyway, it used to be like sleep over time, but not nowadays. So let's have a look now at what we've created. So big bouncy curls. Obviously, we're going to style it now. Oh, mama Grant's going to style it. She's going to let me. She's going to have to let me. I'm scared about her back Let's combing. see. We'll be twinnies. Do you want a back combing, bro? I'm just going to very slightly try to backcomb Misha's We're hair not here. Very, mum mum isn't crown. great at backcombing, I won't lie. Like she makes it look like a hill, like it goes <laughs> flat and then suddenly it's like raised. But, you know, I'll allow it. Mm -hmm. As she's been so kind to do my hair. But it's literally just for a bit of a natural lift. But Misha continually rams her. Uh, I always go like that. that, so it's a bit pointless, really. Wow, Zeus, what do we think? Do I look like a mini Mama Grimes? <laughs> Mama Grimes wishes. Oh, it looks nice. Thank you. She's got a bit of a root situation going on. What Gemma, a my roots. Gemma, come and save us. We've got an appointment in uh, in a week. So mm -hmm. okay, yeah. So this is not going the right way because I was doing it for the fringe to go this way, which is entirely my fault. But that's the one bit that I never ever get 100% right, which is going to give it a bit of <laughs> and um, oil. Yes. This is quite like a light mist. Mish I've been doing with it. No, it, on it. it fell the other day. So only the ends, girls, otherwise it will go flat. My camera is going to be so sticky after this. Oh, can you see the shimmer? Yo, so Misha, do the famous hair move. Wait, let me get in my position. And slow motion it. Thank you, Mummy Grace. There she Does she look old with it? I don't think no, so. No, I think she looks pure class. We shall sit down and recap on what has just happened. Ta-da! I've got matching hair with my mummy! So, so I look like it? twins? Do yeah, I wish. I wish. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this little chatty get hair ready with Mama mm -hmm. Grimes. Mm -hmm. It was very highly requested. Everyone wanted to it see. Is. Yeah, and just to say, you don't, of course, need these specific ones, girls. No. You don't need to go out. This is not a sponsored video. If you've got some rollers at home, they're just as good. My only comment would be make sure that they're really, really hard. Yeah. But you can always use hairspray to help yourself. Obviously, not too often because that is very damaging. You're effectively burning your hair. Let's not even go there. No. Um, but yeah, so any rollers will do. These are just the ones that mums use. And I mm -hmm. feel like I've used 
someone a shoot yes. years ago. Yes. And that's what they used. Yep. So they definitely are popular Lucy. ones. Did Lucy use yep. them on me? Yeah. Yep. But they do drop. So bear in mind, my hair will probably only look like this for like another two hours. Yeah. And then I'll kind of look like a drama wrap. So it's more of a indoors kind of look rather than go out in wet and expect Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily yeah. do this when you're going clubbing because about an hour into the clubbing routine, mm. if you're going out in the rain, you're going to look like a rat. Yeah. But also, the more hairspray, the longer it The longer it, it holds stay. and everything yeah. like that. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and chatting with us. And and if there are any other videos that you'd like me to do so I can educate Misha and pass on my amazing skills, please do give us some ideas. Who knew mum was a, was a professional hairdresser and all? I'm very good at sewing, but that one really no, made I'm, it No, I'm not very good at no. sewing, so we won't go there. But she's anyway. the designer diva, not the sewing. I'm, I'm the worker. She I'm is the planner. The, she's, she's the doer. She's the strategist and I'm the doer. Okay, That's well, us. thank you for doing my hair, mummy. So anyway, we will see you guys next time. Toodaloo. Bye-bye. Bye. Mwah! Ow, you hit me in the face! I got all stuck to my lips. Bye! Dun, oh, no, dun, no, no, no.